three uh, generations ago, 1938. So um, I come from an entrepreneurial family. Uh, my grandfather started his first company in 1938 in, in Durham uh, during the period where it was referred to as Black Wall Street. So um, back at the turn of the century, Durham, North Carolina had the highest um, density of black millionaires per capita in the country, of any city in the country. And so it was called Black Wall Street because of the um, prosperity of the black business community and um, given how prolific it was uh, within the city. And that changed over time with a number of uh, controversial policies, urban redevelopment um, that displaced businesses and, and ended some. Um, and that ended an era of black business, um, scalable black business in the city of Durham um, that was, uh, that I think affected the local economy for decades to come uh, and was largely undervalued in terms of what it contributed to the overall economy of the Triangle and North Carolina. So everything that I do is about recreating the effect of Black Wall Street in the digital economy. Uh, tech industry in particular, and you know, Nick, we talk about this all the time, tech has an ability to scale wealth quicker than any other industry. And uh, I believe that incorporating underrepresented communities into the tech uh, ecosystem will help them scale generational wealth um, at a far more rapid clip than they have. And um, that's very important for the uh, being able to solidify our local economies, our regional economies, state economies, and also the nation.